Uh, I tell you what, uh, our guys just kind of found a way tonight. Uh, it wasn't pretty uh, at all, and you know you give a lot of cr credit to uh, San Antonio. They played a heck of a game. I thought Vassell was was really really good. He was a handful for us tonight. Uh, he had tough shot after tough shot after tough shot, and uh, and um, you know I thought some of them that he hit were. Man, they, they were contested. I mean, the three that he hit across from their bench with about two minutes to go, I think, in the game, that was, that was just a was big-time shot. Um, but, uh, you know, again, I, I give our guys a lot of credit. Uh, even after that three, we could have folded or uh, threw, threw in the towel, but our guys just stayed with it and found a way, uh, even so much so, uh, you know, Foxy gets beat back door and, and the way he recovered um, was amazing. And sometimes that has to happen, and that's what I mean by finding a way, because we always say, hey, if you're going to get beat back door, make sure your guy runs through your chest. And we got beat back door on multiple occasions tonight. And for him to come up with uh, with that block uh, at that point in the game was, was huge. Um, he was great for us offensively as well with the 28 points and nine assists and five rebounds. Um, I thought Kevin was really good. He shot the ball, especially early when the ball wasn't going in. He shot the ball, kept us in the game, helped us get the lead. Uh, Malik was a monster off the bench. You know, uh, Keegan was really solid. Um, and, and, you know, the reality of it is Domas, Domas had a huge game for us. Uh, well, this is his 19th triple-double in the year. He leads the league with that. Um, again, he... Doesn't get enough credit for it. Uh, this is his th 38th double double in a row. Um, the crazy part about it, it's it's not just the, the fourth longest on the season. It's like I think fourth longest since the ABA and NBA emerged, you know, or came together. If I'm saying that right, so um, to have 38 double doubles in a row um, is it, phenomenal. We needed every single. Uh, rebound and point that he put uh, that that he got for us tonight. So, just a, just a great way to to find a, a a way to get a win versus a team, a young team that plays extremely hard and and uh, gave us fits tonight. Mike, you mentioned Domas. Just how close was it for him not playing? Was it was it a tough sell on him? Uh, it looked like he came out and was incredible, like you mentioned. No, he, he he was he he was really really good. Um, you know, we went through all the protocol. There was a there was a chance that he wasn't going to play, but everything just kept checking out as we were going down the the, the list of what we needed to check on. And uh, obviously, for him to get a triple double and impact the game the way he did was phenomenal. Mike Dearn, with the block, steal, whatever it was at the end, you talk about that all the time, the second to third effort. Is yeah. is that just part of what you have to have in the second half of the season, guys giving it all? 100%. You know, I I took the quick timeout when they hit that three in the corner in front of our bench because we made a mistake defensively, but then we stopped playing. And we, we can't have that because you, you're – trust me – you're going to make mistakes. Nobody's going to play a perfect game of basketball on both sides of the floor. It's what do you do when you make the mistake. And um, we didn't do what we needed to on that play. I took the time out and for for Foxy uh, to come up with that play defensively, especially at that point in the game, was huge um, because he didn't quit. Mike, you talk about buy-in and, and belief and, and those things. Um, like as a coach, I wonder when you hear Fox, um, and I assume you hear him and, and the level of buy-in that he expresses to us all the time with regard to defense, like how much does that help your belief in a, as a coach that, that you guys can get to where you want to go? It's huge, Jay, because at the end of the day, I've never been part of a team that was great in this league that, where it didn't come from the players. And so it, it has to come from the players. It has to start there and it has to end there. Um, sooner or later, they're going to they gonna hate hearing my voice, you know. And they got to police one another and hold each other accountable. 
And when you get to that point and they really believe in it and it's really happening, you can have some special things uh, happen for your team. Seeing Wemby in person, the fans seeing him for the first time in Sacramento, did it live up to the hype? Yeah, he's, I mean, he's, he's a generational talent, you know, at, at that size. I'm, I still don't. I still don't know how he how he moves. I, I, I you know I watch him and I'm just I, I, I don't think it's real, uh, but obviously it is. You know because he's putting up the numbers and he's doing it right in front of my face. But uh, I, I, you know, it, definitely great for the NBA. Uh, I wish he was in the East. Sorry, Pop. Um, but man, it's it just a treat for everybody to to come see a guy of that size do the things that he can do. Mike, I think a lot of people naturally think to the playoffs and uh, as the way that this team can build upon last year and get closer to being a contender like you've talked a lot about. But can you share specifically how this final stretch of the season with how tight the West is and the race for even a playoff spot, how you can use that to also build to being a contender? Every time, you know, every time we step on the floor, because we're in a completely different situation than last year. You know, like I said, last year we were injury free. Uh, there were no expectations. And so it was just happy go lucky, pat me on my back, feel good about what's going on. And we'll take whatever comes our way. No pressure. This year is a little different. You know, coming into the season, there were expectations. And, you know, we talked until we were blue in the face to our guys that, and everybody else. At the end of the day, we probably put more expectations on ourselves than anybody else. But you can still, you know, everybody's human. And if you haven't been in this position before, especially in the, especially in the position that you're in individually, uh, i.e., Malik Monk, never been in this position before uh, in terms of how much we need him and how much his impact helps this team. But he's never been in this position before uh, being the hunted with the expectations and, and then dealing with the injuries that we've dealt with. Fox has Domas, Kevin Herter. I mean, you can go down the line. The one guy that may, HB, might have been in this position before, but not many of our guys. And so every time we step on the floor, from, especially from this point forward, because of where we're sitting in the standings, it's a different feeling that they haven't gone through. And, and we have to perform at a high level to get a win just to get into the playoffs. So we're fighting for our, our lives right now. And it's great because it's the, we, you need experience in order to grow. And sometimes you need adversity in order to grow. And that's the best or the quickest way you'll be able to learn by going through something, falling on your face, and getting up and, and, and figuring it out. You know, because that's when it stings the most. So I, I like all this stuff for us. We, we need it. Uh, we're going to embrace it. And at the end of the day, I believe this group can get it done. Coach Brown, uh, I'm sorry. Over, um, Kevin Herter, you just mentioned, too. Uh, he started off the game. I think he hit his first three uh, three pointers. He did some things, you know, off, uh, getting assists and some rebounds. Look like he's refreshed, you know, from the break. Just want to get your thoughts about how he played tonight because he looked really comfortable the way he started. Yeah, no, you know, like I said, he, he was great for us, especially early on because we couldn't buy a basket. And, uh, you know, he, with his ability to create separation without the basketball and, um, you know, our guys uh, doing a great job of, of – Getting him free with with uh, with screens and all that uh, got him some good looks, and he knocked him down. And like I said, you know the ball wasn't going in for most of us early on, so we needed every one of those threes to uh, not only try to gain a little bit of separation, but just to gain the confidence that we need to stay into the game when they went on a run. So um, big big night for him uh, shooting the basketball. Um, you know I thought he was. Uh, Decent rebounding the ball, but also I thought he did a pretty good job playmaking too. He made the right pass at the right time, um, and, and got other guys involved just because of his velocity or his speed. And, and when it came to creating separation, then the way he shot the ball, you know. 
So just going back to the buy-in conversation, Darren seems to really be buying in, especially defensively. I'm just curious, from your point of view, when you stepped into this um, role at the beginning of last season, how have you seen his growth on that side of the ball, and what kind of expectations do you have for him moving forward on that side? I, th I think Foxy can be one of the best two-way guys to play in the NBA. And, you know, I've said it many times before, um, I, I coached him at a, a camp when he was in high school. And I'll never forget, I, I, I've been in the league a long time, even back then. I'd been in the league for a while. And I was just amazed at uh, his, his strength for a smaller guy, you know, he's he's wiry thin, but he's he's wiry strong too, and he's not as big as uh, old school Reggie Williams from Georgetown University. But Reggie Williams from Georgetown University, I coached him. He was about this big, but he had a a wiry strength about himself that uh, that I think Fox does too. And so when you're that athletic, you're that quick, you're that long. Um, it, it, you can be a great defender, but it takes a lot of uh, will and want to be able to do it, and I, you know, I, I do. I think he's starting to figure it out, but it, it, he's just scratching the surface because uh, it takes a lot to defend at the level that he's that he's going to be capable of at the end of the day, and uh, he's he's heading that way, which is uh, impressive upon himself. Thank y'all.